America is respected again. The victory. He's still living in a dream world. The White House could be directing instead of trying to downplay um, and interfere with some of the key communications that are going on. And that just makes the job of everyone trying to contain this uh, pandemic that much harder and which unfortunately is ultimately measured in lives and, and livelihoods from the cascading economic impacts. And uh, uh, um, announcements at the White House of people not wearing masks, of them not social distancing, and direct defiance of, of the advice that's being given out by the Centers for Disease Control. It's really important for this to continue going on because until we see that black people are free in this country, uh, you know, injustice is not going to end. And we're currently in a place right now where, you know, people are being woken up by the movement and by fighting for black liberation. Well, it is so very difficult to get rid of bad cops in this country, all across the country, in police departments everywhere. The rules have been set up in such a way that it's very difficult to weed out those bad apples, um, to even discipline the bad apples in some cases. Básicamente la administración Trump lo que ha hecho ha sido poner la vida de los latinos en más riesgo, poner la vida de los latinos más complicada, you know, digamos desde la cancelación de, de seguros médicos. Nos hemos vuelto archivos expiatorios básicamente para muchos de los problemas de este país, digamos, nos echan la culpa para todo.